percent word problems. Decimal percent, no problem. Now you've practiced finding percent amounts, you're going to find they are more often presented as word problems. I want you to feel confident about them. In many countries, the tax on a purchase is applied at the point of sale. It's not shown in the price tag. It's like that in Canada. Let's say I'm buying a pair of jeans. The tax is 13% and the price tag says $85. How much tax will be charged on this pair of jeans? We have to find 13% of $85. For this problem, I'm going to use the decimal form of the percentage. 13% is 13 hundredths and that is 0.13 times 85. There's my plan. Calculator is easy, but on paper, these are the significant figures to multiply. So 85 times 13. Three fives are 15. Three eighths are 24. Plus one is 25. Cross out the regrouping and now we're going to multiply by this one. First, we put a zero in place because it's 110 and one times 85. Now we add, in the first column, 5, then 5 and 5 is 10, now 8 and 2 is 10, plus 1, 11. Now for the decimal point. In the original number, we have two decimal figures, so we need two decimal figures in the answer, right here, 11.05. We're working in dollars, so write the dollar sign. When I'm answering a word problem, I like to make it crystal clear, so now I write a sentence. The tax on the jeans is $11.05. And if I really want to impress my teacher, I would then say how much I had to pay for the jeans. This is more than the question asked, so expect extra kudos or marks for extra work. Price tag, $85, plus tax amount, $11.05. Add up to find the total cost of the jeans, $96.05. See, those word problems are quite manageable. Now let's extend our understanding a little bit. If you have to find 14.5% of $90, you can solve it using the same approach. Don't panic just because you see a decimal percent. You got this. Turn 14.5% into its decimal equivalent. Divide by 100. Move the decimal point to the left one, two places. 0.145. You would just multiply 90 by 0.145. So you can see, even if your percentage has a decimal in there, it's not going to stop you. You know what to do. It's easy on a calculator, but we can work on paper too. 145 times 90. Start with a zero because we're multiplying by nine tens. Five nines are 45, four nines are 36, plus the four, 40. 9 ones are 9, plus the 4, 13. 13, zero, five, zero. Three decimal figures in the problem, three decimal figures in the answer. And now the decimal point is in, we can drop the final zero. The answer is $13.05. You can absolutely manage this. It will help to get a bit of experience making that decimal equivalent from the percentage. So let's finish off with a few equivalents now, so you feel confident with this. 75.3% to get the decimal equivalent divide by 100. Move the decimal point to the left one, two places, 0.753. 28.9% divide by 100, move the decimal point one, two places, 0.289. 4.5%, I need a couple of zeros at the start here. Now move the point one, two places, 0.045. 0.75%. Put in two zeros. Move it one, two places. 0.0075. Nothing is going to stop you now. Your teacher can ask you to find any percentage value and you know what to do. Excellent. See you for more on percentages next time on Let's Do Math.